Hi, I'm Skylar, a server here at the Whistle Stop Smokehouse and Adventure Park. Please like, share, and comment this video. I'd really appreciate it. All right, I am here at Adventure Park USA. They have the Whistle Stop, and this is a restaurant. They've got the, the really cool local beers, and all. we're going to talk about that later, but I'm going to check out some food. This is out of this world. This is like, you can get a sampler where you can get like three different kinds, and, and this is out of this world. I, I'm, I, I just have to dig in here. Let me just take a quick bite of this. Oh, my gosh. Now, which is this, Eric? Which is this? That's a chicken. Chicken. Yep. And they give you the traditional barbecue. Mm-hmm. And this? And so that's brisket. Brisket. That's a, uh, that's a hickory smoked brisket. And it is... Oh, my gosh. Wait till the flavor hits. It's unbelievable the way that thing... Oh, my goodness. Let that marinate for a minute. And I'll tell you, I love the green beans, too. And, yep. Eric O'Bear, they're, they're a... It's a trim... Thin uh, green beans. They're really fantastic. Perfect al dente taste. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Now you gotta try the smoked sausage. The smoked sausage is I'll tell you. It's fantastic. You've been talking about how good this is. We've been on the radio with Dave Syria and talking about how good this is. Well, I'm just glad you're getting And I'll tell you what. Mmm. <laughs> You understated it. I, this is better than great. Well, thank you. Thanks, man. And this is this is amazing that this is chicken, chicken yes. barbecue. Yes. Really good. Yeah, it's a it's a smoked chicken. We pull it here at the at the park. I um, I've never had great. chicken with that kind of flavor to it. It's fantastic, isn't it? Because I my, well, my gosh, this is just this is just uh, <laughs> out of this world. It's good, isn't it? So, oh um, man. So we've got the Texas inspired hickory smoked brisket. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that we really liked about the process of- uh, That's just right here. Is, yes, that's mm -hmm. what that is. You can really taste it. it, and it. And the idea is when you're doing really good barbecue, you shouldn't get all of the flavor within the first bite. Mm -hmm. You should, when you're, when you're taking that thing, when you're biting down on that piece of brisket or mm -hmm. chicken or sausage, you should have an actual flavor change. Let it marinate in your mouth. And it really, like the smoked um, flavor of the brisket is absolutely amazing. Uh, the chicken's I, the I'll same tell you though, the sausage. It's, We're really it's, proud of it. it's too good to let it marinate. I have to take another bite. <laughs> I have to take I another say, bite. You're, you're I, helping it out I, there. Yeah, it's just, I mean, and, yeah. and like I say, all three are so good. Yeah. yeah we've, we've been, uh, we've, we're really, really. Uh, scrutinizing you know we had to do a lot of uh, a lot of testing with our our chef to figure out what would be a good product that's, that uh, would appeal to most people well you know in this day and age you need to have really good food yeah. to get the people out yeah you do to get the people to come out and that's what you got here this is absolutely fantastic i'm going to share the heck out of this and i hope the other folks that are watching this video share it because we got to promote all these these local yeah. owner operator businesses. This is an owner operator business, yep. and this is what we do. But I'll tell you what, this is <laughs> mm. it's good stuff, huh? Mm. Yeah, Man. yeah. And the funny, and now here's what's interesting, and I don't know if you guys noticed this, but he's eating all of this without having to dip into the barbecue. I know, stuff. I know. I don't now, even need that. I spent a lot of time in West Texas in my 20s. Yep. And the idea down there, when you talk to some of the folks that go to the large barbecues and things mm -hmm. like that, like around the, um, when you go to the stockyards mm -hmm. down in Fort Worth, they say barbecue sauce mm -hmm. is for food that does not have flavor. If your barbecue is done correctly, if it's if it's really tender, if it's juicy, if it's got a lot of flavor to it, you typically don't want to smother it with a lot of, of barbecue sauce. Yeah. Now, a little bit of accent on it is fantastic. When you're eating ribs and you want to add a little bit of an accent type of flavor, if you're having chicken or mm -hmm. what have you, the traditional barbecues that we're um, that we have here at the park is fantastic. The and and stuff. just the fact that I'm able to cut it up so easily with these flimsy, oh, yeah, yeah. you know, plastic <laughs> fork. I mean, you know, that tells you something right there. It's, it's, I mean, it's tender stuff. Mm, it really is. Man, I'll tell you what, you've been talking this up and, and you're right. Well, you know what, this was, you know, you know, we've been talking about this for almost a year. This is, this is six months 
of culinary research going through and having our chef cook mm -hmm. up different foods, pro uh, prepare mm -hmm. different things here, um, and sample different types of meats, different processes, and things like that. And I've got to tell you, I've really suffered a lot over the last six months having to eat all this uh, food. <laughs> it's really been, it's been very difficult. I hope you have that chef cloistered away so nobody yeah, can try yeah. to try to steal yeah, him we're from you. Tell, we're not going to reveal his name you keep or, him or hidden. he lives or anything. We, we uh -huh. keep him locked up in the back of the park. Yeah, yeah he never yeah, leaves. this is good. It's good stuff. When we had our menu established, mm -hmm. we had taken a sample up to WFRE. And I do mornings mm -hmm. um, up there, uh, th first Thursday of the month, mm -hmm. and get to go in and talk about whatever's going on here in the park. It was interesting because uh, the, the program manager came back and called me later that day, and he said, Eric, he said, I literally had to, had to convince everybody that this came from uh, the restaurant inside of Adventure Park USA. They were so blown away by how good it tastes. Mm -hmm. And I said, you're, you're not pulling my leg. You're not just telling me this because we're he said, No, because mm -hmm. I got to tell you, they, everybody was shocked because it is so good. It's it's really a great product, and we're well, very proud of it. We're very, I, very I can tell you, I'm not a big eater, and you see how I'm polishing this <laughs> off, know. right? I, I mean, I'll just keep talking. This you stuff, keep this eating. stuff, You're just does, good. It, You're doing really good. I, I mean, <laughs> it just you know, all three, and you've got other types of meats that could have been in here. Oh yeah. What so, what yeah, would so be the got, other so popular got, ones? Okay, so you've got our our, our Texas inspired hickory smoked brisket. Mm -hmm. uh, you've got that's our, this one here. Correct. That's the brisket, mm -hmm. and it's super tender. Um, you've got our you've got our pulled chicken. And then you've got our classic smoked sausage. Mm -hmm. Now the other meats that could be on there would be a jalapeno and cheddar mm -hmm. sausage, which is fantastic. It could be a pulled pork, which could mm -hmm. also be on there. Okay. We have ribs. We have our back ribs, which are fantastic. It's our own recipe. It's a family recipe, mm -hmm. and uh, you'll notice it on our on our menu. It actually says Rich's Rib Rub. There's a Long story behind there, we'll have to go on, mm -hmm. on air sometime and I'll tell you a little bit about that. It's a very interesting, uh, it's an interesting story. Mm -hmm. uh, but my cousin, who has been a avid barbecuer for the past 25 years, has been working on this recipe. He was willing to, he was willing to share it with us. There you go. Fantastic. Now look at this, I'm, gonna do a, I'm doing a twofer you right got there. got a twofer? Yeah, it, definitely. Good blend. Mm. So the ribs, and then again with our with our sides, we've got baked beans, we've got green beans, we've got uh, coleslaw, we've got um, of course corn on the cob, uh, the corn cobets, which you saw there. I'm trying to think, and then our desserts. You know, oh my gosh! I know. Other than the the, the sweet cornbread, which mm -hmm. I love, is uh, we serve two different types of desserts. We have a other than our park style de desserts, which mm -hmm. you can always come to the park and get. Go to the outside cafe and get dipping dots mm -hmm. or soft ice cream or something like that. But inside the Smokehouse restaurant, we also serve a Reese's peanut butter pie mm -hmm. and it's cheesecake. Wow. I've been sworn to secrecy as to how many calories are in Yeah, I don't think slice. I would need that. You don't need it. No, no I, 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 well, I would. Then, this, <laughs> this, I mean, this is a just talk yeah. about a complete meal. Yeah. And then, uh, and then we also serve a uh, New York inspired, New York style inspired uh, cheesecake also. Now I'm going to say something that you probably don't want to hear, but no, a couple could share this. Yeah. A yeah. couple could straight up yeah, share I this. People, I mean, it's, it's three quarters of a pound of meat. It, this is a big, it really is. this is a big dinner. You've got to have an appetite. You know, we, we really were, like I said, we were really proud of what we were serving. The product is, is top shelf. Now I have to also add that your pizza is outstanding here too. We've had that in the past. <laughs> yeah, the pizza. Is and fantastic. and so somebody could come in and get barbecue, and then the folks that want pizza, they could get pizza yeah. here also at the same yeah. place. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Well, I'm going to wrap up this clip. We're going to do a little clip talking about the 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 beer. Yeah. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Great. Two thumbs up for good, sure. Good. Well, we got to get people to come in and try it for themselves and see what they have to say. There you go. All right. All right, guys. So what we were talking about earlier, after you enjoyed your fantastic meal over at the Whistle Stop Smokehouse, uh, while we were sitting in here, one of the things that was brought up is our variety of local craft beers. And as you can see on tap, 
We have a great variety. We love working with the folks out of uh, Frederick, out of Hagerstown, Pennsylvania, up into um, PA and Ohio, uh, Prince Frederick. So I'm just gonna run down the list. So we have uh, the Mountain Throne, which is a winter ale. We've got uh, their White Satin, which is a Belgian wit. We've got their Impressionist IPA, which is a fantastic beer. It's kind of their flagship beer. Uh, we just started serving uh, Mully's uh, Blood Orange Blonde, which is out of Prince, Fred Prince Frederick, Maryland. We've got Great Lakes, Elliot Ness, Amber Lager, which is actually out of Ohio. We've got uh, two other uh, brews, Jack's Hard Cider and Sly Fox, which uh, I believe are both Pennsylvania beers. And then we've got Antietam Brewery, which is right up in Antietam, Maryland. We've got something special for everybody at Adventure Park USA. We really wanted to support the local brews, the local brew houses, and um, I think we're doing a great job at that. We also partnered up with our friends at Linganore Winery, and we're serving their wines here at the park. So come by, have a, have a, great, have a great meal at the Smokehouse, stop into the Whistle Stop Saloon, try one of our awesome draft beers or our fantastic wines. If you enjoy local content like this, please like, comment, and share this video. If you own a local business, please join us.